joined by Lil. And we've been traveling in Seoul, Korea for the past five days. And together we've accumulated a lot of shopping. Because all we've been doing pretty much is shopping. And we're very poor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're still going to Japan after. Mm -hmm. For 20 more days. <laughs> so I thought what we would do is a collective haul of all the things that we bought in Korea. Because we have four hours to kill. We have to sleep early tonight and there's not much left for us to do. And we have no more money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. So, let's start with... Tony. <laughs> Tony. Oh yeah. So this is Tony. He is a... <laughs> we didn't really buy him, so it's not really part of the haul. Yeah. <laughs> but we won him. We won Rachel him. won him. Mm. Uh, two turns early mm. in our local machine yeah so there's like a UFO catcher arcade right next to our house and we went there and because I've watched a lot of claw or like UFO catcher videos on YouTube I felt really confident that day and then we ended up winning him and it was only 2001 mm -hmm. and next we have this really puffy teddy bear jacket mm. and this was only 20 like around 30,000 uh, Korean won so it's around like 35 Australian dollars mm -hmm. and it's really warm like I only wore this today and a, and a shirt and it, mm. it was good for Korea and it's fluffy <laughs> where did you go? Uh, uh, oh Yuha, Yuha Women's University and in the same shop I also bought this velvet um, kind of like work a, shirt or button, button up yeah button up for I thought it would be good for work mm. yeah it's very feminine mm -hmm. and feels really soft on the outside. This was only 10,000 yeah. ones, like $12. The last few pieces of clothing I got, I got some pants. Mm. Ooh. These are, I think it's kind of like a wool blend, so it's really warm as well. Mm. We wear them in Japan, and they were, I think, 35,000. 35, yeah. And but it was from a really sophisticated store. store on mm. special. Yes, <laughs> on special, on Christmas <laughs> special. So next, I got a hat from Villa. And this was like 30,000 Korean won. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's uh, pretty cheap compared to um, Australia. Mm -hmm. And it's really cute, it matches my new hair. And I also got a mask, so I've been wearing it every day. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and mine, where's mine? Oh, well, I got a mask too. <laughs> well, I got mine from a convenience store for $2. <laughs> Still looks good. Mm -hmm. Mine was like, I think. For almost 4,000. It's from Artbox, mm -hmm. but I thought it was really cute because it had a face on it. Yeah. Um, I also got a beanie, so it matches my hoodie, and this was 5,000. Mm. I think around here, yeah, 5,000 cream one. Very cheap, very cheap. And it's really good because this beanie oh, yeah. is like, it's got fluff inside, so it keeps your head super warm. So I bought two pullovers, both of them were 10,000 won. So this one is grey and it has a really cute Shiba on it and I really liked it. And then I also got a green version, also with the Shiba on it, because I wanted to get matching couple pullovers for me and Lucas. <laughs> which is somewhat cringy, <laughs> but... It's a thing in Korea. Mm, I have been influenced by the Korean culture. And then my other clothing item that I got was my biggest purchase in Korea and my most proud one because I've been wanting this for ages. So we went to Villa in Lottie World, like Lottie Mall, mm. and I bought oh, Villa Disruptors. And I'm super excited because I wanted them back in Australia and I feel like they're the next trend, the next basic girl trend. So I'm jumping on before everyone else does. Or well, everyone else in Korea has already jumped on the bandwagon. <laughs> But these are really nice and I just really needed new white shoes because my Air Maxes have become very grey. So, yeah, these were 69,000 won in Korea, which is like $84. So I think that's super cheap. Bargain. Mm. Bargains in Korea. That was all my clothing items. Okay, we should do socks? Or? Yeah, let's do socks. Okay, so we bought a shitload of, sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> we bought a lot of socks in Korea because they're only 1,000 um, won each and then there's like so many different styles. We've got high ones and low ones. Mm -hmm. So I got 10 pairs. I got reindeer. Mm -hmm. I got panda. Got st 
Starbucks. Because I love yeah. Starbucks. Lou loves coffee. Be free soy. <laughs> Go to Starbucks. I got cat. Cat ones. Some. This is a Shiba. A dog. A dog one holding a ball. Oh, I think I got. Oh no, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I got snowman. Christmas themed like ones. Yeah. I got Santa. And then the little um, things they're holding up fairy as well. Oh, I don't know, that's so cute. This <laughs> one, so they're holding like a fairy oh. stocking. I got penguin. And lastly, I got like a really basic like navy pair, but it has like a tiny, tiny bear on the mm -hmm. front, on the side. Yeah. That's it. So cute. And they were all technically a dollar. A <laughs> dollar. dollar. <laughs> it's how we shopping yeah. here. <laughs> they are my socks. <laughs> I bought a lot of socks as well, but most of these are for my friends for Christmas gifts. So I just show you all of them as well. I bought 18 pairs in the end. So I got these dotty navy ones. Little Shivas. Lil gave me this. <laughs> these Pink Shivas, which is Very so cute. cute. And then I got a Gudetama. Uh, more little Shivas because they're for different people. And then I got this husky one. So many socks. Mm. Ducks! <laughs> uh, I got the bear ones as well. And I got the bear one in two different colors for two different people. Yeah. <laughs> And then Supreme Socks. Fake Supreme, I of course. <laughs> yeah. Batman and Superman. Totoro. And I got a pink Totoro as well because this is gifts for a couple. So I'm getting everyone couple things. More Shiba ones. Another Totoro one. Just a random moustache guy. Just a moustache. Yeah. This dog, which is really, really cute. And then finally, I bought a pair of socks for myself, which is these panda pink ones because I love wee bear bears and Pam Pan is my favorite character. <laughs> yes, so all our socks. <laughs> so one of my friends is like the biggest BTS fan. So she told me about this store in Hongdae. I think there's also one in Myeongdong called BT21 and it's in collaboration with Line, the Line store, which is really big here. And um, they have different characters for all the different mm. BTS members. So she wanted Koya, which was a <laughs> koala plush bear. And it's Christmas themed as well, because we came close to Christmas. Mm. And I also bought all the matching bags with the characters yeah. on it. Because <laughs> I think she will like it. <laughs> and these are, these are pretty cheap. Oh yeah, these are only 101. It's like 10 cents. Yeah, but, um, but this was like... 35,000, mm. 35, really quite expensive, mm. but for my friends, so. <laughs> that store is really cute, it has a lot of plushies, it has lots of different things like key rings, wallets, yeah. pillows, yeah. I don't know. I think the resale value on this would probably really be really high mm. for the fans. Stickers? Yes. I also bought stickers, so I'll go through my stickers first. One of my favourite stores that I've been to in Korea so far is called Artbox, and it's basically like a stationery store with lots of like little knickknacks. So first of all, I got this peanut sticker, and it's really cute. I like all the different kinds of characters. So I also got a shark one, and the shark is called Boss. Super cute. And then I got a CDG one, even though I'm not really hype. <laughs> but still, I thought it looked nice. It was like very vibrant. It's nice. And I got these Breaking so Bad cute. stickers. So um, yeah, but they're in banana peels. <laughs> Which was really <laughs> random, so I liked it. Um, and they were all about 900 won each. And from the same store, I got a. I think this is. Are these the line characters? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the Galapagos friends. <laughs> and these are all from also from Outbox. So I'm gonna give them to my boss's um, children. Because he has two. And there's two sheets in here, and they're like got some gold. They're like kind of gold. And this was 1,300 won for two sheets. And you can find art boxes anywhere pretty much. So very easy and very fun way to spend your time. Yeah. Let's move on to makeup. Earrings first. 
Earrings, earrings, yeah. Can I go first? Yeah, you go first. I'll open this. Okay. So, um, on like the first day, I went and splurged out on some earrings because I wanted, I really wanted to fit in because conformity. Mm, very <laughs> important. Very <laughs> so, um, actually, I was gonna buy them, so I didn't wear earrings to Korea. Yeah. So the first one I got were these star ones, and they're super cute. They're not too elaborate though. Mm -hmm. And then I also got these rose gold heart ones. Mm, those ones are really pretty. In a little I circle. Like them a lot. Yeah. Quite nice, and I also got these medallion, long medallion ones because guys, medallions are really in this season in the jewelry world. So, I didn't know earrings were such a big thing in Korea, so when we came, I was very surprised because I don't tend to change my earrings ever unless they get rusty and then I throw them out and I put in like a new pair for the next few years. So, instead, now I've bought a few earrings. These ones I didn't actually buy. They were for free for some reason. Like the lady just put them in my basket. Today as well, we went to a different store and got some fancier earrings. I got these like constellation earrings because I think they're really cute and they match my Helix one. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I specifically looked for the Aquarius star sign because that's my star sign and now it's a bit more like personal for mine. And from the same store, I got these geometric um, silver colored ones. I thought they'd be really cute, a bit modern style, and match the rest of my silver earrings that I've got on. Mm -hmm. These ones were, so 10,000 and 12,000. 12, but I yeah. got five pairs and you got, yeah, I got four, four pairs. Yeah. So not expensive at all. But the store itself looked really expensive. Mm. And like it had incense burning and everything. It was really yeah. nice. Finally, makeup? Makeup. Makeup. This actually looks really yummy. Yeah. We got instant noodle too. We're gonna eat those tonight. Yeah. So Myeongdong is like a really good place if you want to buy beauty products because there are a couple of streets there where no matter like how far you walk, all the shops are cosmetic stores. Mm. So it's the perfect place to go for you into Korean beauty. For myself, I just got a green tea foam cleanser because my skin hasn't been that great recently. My skin hasn't actually been great ever. <laughs> so I thought I would try a new cleanser and see if it improves kind of like the bumps on my forehead a little bit more. So I'll let you know how this goes. I also got, well together we bought an Innisfree multi-cleansing tissue just because I realized we didn't bring any makeup wipes. And also from Innisfree I got a No Sebum Blur Primer with Jeju Natural Mineral and Natural Origin... Originated... <laughs> <laughs> originated Mint. So that's the package. I got one for my friend, I also got one for myself because I thought it was pretty good mm -hmm. and this is what it looks like when you take it out and I tried it on one day it was pretty good just to smooth out your skin because I got a lot of um, like eczema mm -hmm. marks from when I was young it's pretty good recommend yes and we went when we went to um, the Lottie Ma mall um, I walked past the Misha shop and I was like oh, this yeah. is really nice <laughs> and just I sucked into the packaging yeah I, got, I impulse bought this <laughs> lip tint and it's I'm um, from Misha, and the color is let me swatch it. Mm, swatch away. Swatch. <laughs> it's just like a it's like a classic red. Can you see it? The classic red tint. It wasn't that expensive. That oh, was yeah. like seven thousand five hundred one. Oh, I didn't. And the industry one was, this was ten thousand. Mm. Mm. And this was nine thousand. And this was six thousand five hundred or something. Yeah. <laughs> Very cheap. Yeah. Today, all I got was a Precious Mineral BB Cream um, and it's in matte. It's also a tan colour because I bought it for my friend who asked me to get a BB Cream in Korea because the Korean BB Creams are really, really good. SPF 50 plus. Ah, <laughs> sun, safety. sun safety. Very important. Also from Etude House, I got a bit more stuff. Mm. I bought a... One of their Christmas themed palettes, which was called Tiny Twinkle. It's so cute. Their holiday uh, collection is so pretty. It's all very sparkly. Yeah, and let me open it. Mm. There we go. It's a lot of pinks and glitters, yeah. which I don't have. I have a lot of neutrals at home. And there were three different color versions of this palette. 
So there was like yeah. a more grey one, a brown colour, and then this and one this was a pinky. pinky orangey mm. one. Yeah. And according to the salesperson, the pink one was the most popular. Mm. Uh, from the Christmas collection, I also got their mini drop pearl base kit with three kinds. And it comes in a really nice gift box. And then when you open it up, there's three different types of um, ah, ampules. There's a like a pearly white, a pinky, pinky one, and a purple mm. one. You put them on, and then they're like you rub it, and it's like really glittery. So yeah. you can wear it like highlight body on the body, also like on the eyes. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. so pretty. I got a darling, dear darling tint as well. So these are gonna be gifts for my friend. Mm. My friend. Yeah. Cream packaging is so cute. Yeah. As we dyed our hair, we also got a um. A pastel violet two tone treatment hair color. I think it's a um, kind of like a combined um, like tr hair treatment slash color treatment. So like almost like a toner. And but the lady didn't know what we were talking about. Mm. But I think it. I think you just put on your hair and then um, it mm. will apply a little bit of color like the toner does. Yeah. And we're really hoping it functions like purple shampoo yeah. because Lil's hair is. Well, she dyed it ash grey and she thinks it's turning a little bit green. Yeah. So we've been going everywhere, like to all the different pharmacies and all of Young's trying to find purple shampoo. But none of the assistants know what it is and it's always apparently sold out. Mm -hmm. So when we stumbled across this, we're like, okay, this is last resort, let's just give mm. it a go and hopefully it works. Bring your own purple shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's super inexpensive. Super duper. That's it! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> so, that's all we got in Korea. We'll make an update video when we do all our shopping in Japan as well. I'm sure we have a lot more to buy, especially since we're in Japan for a lot longer. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, or subscribe below. And, um, turn on your notifications. <laughs> Bye now. Close it up. <laughs> that how you say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you next time. Bye! Smiling every day with Hey Liddy! <laughs> <laughs>